Hey guys, and welcome to another one of my videos. And this one is going to be short and sweet. I know it's been a while, but uh, quite a few questions have been coming in about um, upgrading and updating the home center. So I thought I might as well write this, um, do this video guide to show you the best way to update the home center um, without it crashing or having any problems or any conflicts, um, etc. So, what do we do? First things first, you need to be on your PC. Do not do this from your mobiles. Um, if you do open your app and it comes up with a prompt to update, just skip it and click on remind me later or whatever. Uh, but don't do it from your phone. First thing first we need to do is get onto a browser, type in the IP address of your home center. Um, remember, I've mentioned before, there's an app called Fibaro Finder. So if you click on, um, if you bring up the Fibaro Finder app like that, it's just a program that you can download from the Fibaro website. You get the Mac version for Mac, Windows for Windows. Click on the refresh and it will then tell you the IP address of your uh, home center. And then you just log in with it. So in my case, 1001.121, then you just log in. Once you've logged in, you'll come to this screen here. And the first thing we need to do is we need to create a backup. So we're gonna do a manual backup. I don't like to do it automated. But even before then, I do a reboot. So you click on configuration and come down to here and do a restart. What that does is, and then just click on okay, and it will start rebooting the home center too. What we like to do is, is basically clean this memory, clean the cache memory and things like that. So it's a fresh start. You've got to remember that this is just a, um, basically a PC. It's just basically a PC running software. So what we want to do is we want to make sure that uh, it's buffer memories, cache memories are all clear. Um, and we do that by rebooting it. So now we're going to give it a, a minute or so for it to reboot. And then I'll uh, I'll be back. Right, it's restarted, no problem. Then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do a backup manually. So we click on the backup again. It should reopen on the same page. If it doesn't, just click on configuration again. Click on backup, and we're then gonna create a manual backup so, or cloud backup. And then we just click on create. Little description. I always put something like in a, a pre-backup. So something like pre-backup. Um, then click on start. What it's now doing is actually now backing up the home center too. So again, leave that for a bit and then I'll come back to you again. Okay, so now the backup is done. It comes back onto this page. So you can see 28th September 11.45, that's today. Um, Pre-backup done and it's currently compatible. So what it's doing, uh, so once we've done all that, we're now ready to do the update. So next, go back onto configuration. We have to give it a minute or so for it to, um, uh, because while it's doing the, when it did a backup, it actually does a kind of a reboot as well, built into it. So it's gonna do its thing and we're just gonna wait a couple of minutes for the update to actually appear here at the bottom. Usually takes uh, three, four, five minutes. So leave this on the page so what i'll do is uh, i'm going to pause it again and i will come back to you again right so after a few minutes um up to about 10 minutes really you should then come back to this page and you should see that the upgrade is available sometimes you can just click on your house and click back on to configuration again and that sometimes then helps to refresh the screen so once you're ready, once it's all back up online, then what you need to do 
is you come down to the upgrade available screen. It then gives you the list of changes. So there was a beta version, which I didn't do, um, as I generally do the main ones, and that's what I recommend, unless there is something within the beta that you need to fix something. So for example, in this particular beta, they fix the heat controller. So if that's what a device that you had and you needed fixing, then go for it, do the beta update. This procedure applies to both betas and normal. So I'm doing the main upgrade. So this is the 4.560, which is the latest update. And it just gives you the um, a blurb as to what it does and what the improvements are, any resolved issues, etc. So first things first, we're gonna do is download the update. So it's now downloading. Downloading doesn't take long if you've got a good, uh, most people have got broadband internet connections, so give it about a minute or so to download the update. Now that the update is downloaded, um, it comes up saying new version of software is ready to install. Then click on the view button, it brings you up onto this page. Now, as we've already done the backup beforehand, I don't include. I, I always uncheck this box as sometimes that can cause it to um, crash a little bit. So accept the terms and conditions if you do. Have a read if you want to have a read. Um, and then just click on next. Now the home center is starting to do its update. And this screen will stay on for a while. Um, anything up to around about 10 to 15 minutes is, is, is normal for the update. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'll pause the video again and I'll come back afterwards. After a few moments, uh, mine took around about 10, 12 minutes or so, um, you'll get this message coming up saying success, your gateway is now up to date. Then what you need to do is you then click on next and then it will say configuration complete and you can start using your system and click on finish to finish. And then all you do is once it reloads, just have a quick scan make sure everything is okay there's no x's or any configuration problems or device errors um and things like that which there usually isn't um so and that's it and that's how you update your home center update the home center and then it's ready for to be used for carrying on with your stuff right i hope you enjoyed that video and uh, see you again soon. Bye for now.